Hi there. Did you know it's the smart women that hurt themselves the most? That's right. My name is Lisa Lieberman Wang. I'm the number one bestseller of the book, Fine to Fab. This is so important. It's because the smart women are setting unrealistic goals for themselves, and even when they meet them, it's never enough. So how do you stop that? Well, here's the answer. We need to first define who set the goal. It's like a crazy question, right? Who set the goal? Well, what we didn't realize is 55% of your beliefs were formed by the time you're five years old. They were the seeds that were planted by well-meaning parents, teachers, preachers, and guardians. Can we then conclude the other 45% might have been built on a shaky foundation? Maybe you set a goal that you had to be a six-figure earner. I'll let you know that was my goal. I was 23 years old and I was told when I was like 17 that people who made six figures arrived, meaning they had to make $100,000 or more. So I had this goal at 23, I had to make six figures. And I did, but you wouldn't believe it. I did it at a price. I ended up with ulcers, stress, depression. I was dealing with so many different things. I even got into eating disorders, compulsive overeating, binge eating, bulimic. Yes, there was a price for success for me. And I didn't know it because I had unrealistic expectations of myself. It was realistic that I did it, but it, it wasn't at the right cost. And then you have to ask yourself, who set those boundaries for you? Who set those expectations? First question, figure that out. And then who defines what's good enough? Think about that one. A lot of times we have different standards set for us of what's good enough. I remember I used to strive for perfection and someone used to say to me, you know, perfection is the lowest standard. I actually looked up perfection in, this, in the dictionary. Do you know what it said? It said perfection was to be the best, to be a finished product. Well, I don't know about you, but I live in a world where I don't know that many things actually are finished products because when do you know you're done? When is a piece of furniture a finished product, right? Well, how makes that decision? Who makes a decision when art is finished? Who makes a decision when your day is done? Think about your work. How do you know you've achieved the success you want? And maybe you got the success in some way financially, but you're not successful in others through fulfillment, right? You gotta look at all those different variables. And then the other challenge that ends up happening and why we hurt ourselves is because we're looking for love in all the wrong places. And what I mean by that is we're looking for validation from other people. It's when we stop looking for the validation from others and we start looking for the validation from ourselves that everything in your life changes. I like to compare it to learning to fly. Fly means first love yourself. Know that you're not gonna do good things to somebody you don't like. And if you're hurting yourself, I will put money on it that you're not liking yourself, let alone loving yourself. We need to get to the point where you like you. Then we can get to the point where you love you. I encourage you to start saying positive things to yourself. I tell my clients every day to do 50 affirmations a day and it starts with I am. So it's like, I'm fabulous, awesome, I'm beautiful, I'm amazing. Yes, I do, I'm out there every day. But do it in your birthday suit. I'm gonna let you know your body hears everything you say and it takes 20 positive comments to counteract even one negative one. Start saying positive things to yourself. Stop hurting yourself, you deserve to be Treat, treated well, you're worthy, you're deserving, you're loving, you're amazing. I don't even need to know you personally. I already know you are, just the fact that you're watching this. You need to remember that. Share this with a friend. Help another soul sister to be able to make a difference for herself too. And um, I'll look forward to seeing you on the next one.